Let's talk about how to do baby hairs when you have locks. Baby, and she wanna hold that baby. That page is on it. And you don't like, that's why you're my favorite. I roll the dice, make sure there's no babies. Alright, y'all, don't chill me up for this angle. This might not be the best angle, but this is the handy dandy edge control that I use currently. It is the Style Factor Eco Eco edge booster style factor edge booster is for thick and coarse hair now they do have a lot of different versions of these and this is going to be the brush i am using i use kind of a heavy duty one you know a thick you know for a thick grip <laughs> so you're just going to need three things the edge control being one the edge brush being two and what i'm gonna show you in a second is a wig band i actually use a wig band to hold my edges down so let's get into it so i do my edges into kind of i guess you can say three parts oh there's my wig band that i am currently using so i do my edges in three parts so first i have the swoop up top swoop this swoop And when you're doing this, it really doesn't take that much um, effort to make that swoop. You're not going to, you know, and you can also use the end of the brush, the other end of the brush to just, you know, find out that line and make sure the lines aren't crossing. Some people don't mind for their lines to be, you know, connected, like their swoops to be connected. I like my swoops to be disconnected from each other. Me personally, I just don't like the all in one look for me, but it's really up to your preference. So... I've done the second swoop so far. It's really just an easy movement. You kind of just do kind of a curl motion. So I'm going to the other side to basically do the exact same thing on that side. Duplicate that side, if you guys can see. And another thing too, like your edges are your freedom of expression. So it's really just how you want to form them that day. If you don't want to do the basic regular swoop to the regular side you can flip the swoop around and do it towards your face even it's just on how you're feeling for that day you kind of just style them i mean the edge control i use this only lasts for the day um there are better edge controls that last more than one day but as far as me this is what i do and then the parts that i have closest to the ear now they're super curly i can either leave them curly as is and just wet them and make a big curl or i can brush them down and swoop them downwards kind of like a sideburn but it's not technically a sideburn it's just like edges so my favorite thing to do is to swoop it down as a sideburn but i also like to leave the ends a little curly like i don't like to swoop it all the way to the ends of my face like I don't mind a little curl at the end as long as it swoops and curls up kind of towards the bottom of my ear so that's what I'm doing now is playing with this one side here trying to get it right see you can see how that curls at the end I really don't mind that I actually really love that look to kind of show the texture of my hair if my hair was out of locks but mainly you're just gonna be playing with it and just get into your liking. And don't be afraid to use all sides of the brush that you have. See the brush I have, it has a pointy um, rat toe part and it also has a comb on the other end. So when I, you know, my hair is super curly. So when I start to lay down the, I guess you could say sideburn part, <laughs> sometimes I go in with that comb and just kind of comb it all together first. And then, see, that's what I'm doing right now. Combing it all together. Make sure there's no lumps or, you know, whatever the case is. And then I go in with that brush side and started to lay it down. Because this is a way better angle right here. So, and then I curl up the end. Make it goes upward. And then the rest of the curl, I kind of just let it do what it does. Like, at that point, you're just trying to just... Make sure it lays down. That is the main goal here is to make sure it lays down. Now, throughout the day, I would say this edge control is pretty good. It does last, but throughout the day, I would say more so towards dinner time, the end of the day, your edges might lift. Especially if you're at work and you're sweating and, you know, your edges might lift. So, there is an edge control that I want to try on TikTok, and that could be another video to test that 
edge control that lasts for days but now right now currently i'm working on the widow's peak now the widow's peak you can curl you can just leave it as a curl but i don't really like it as a curl i kind of just lay it down and you pretty much have it now i'm just gonna double check and make sure i like the results so far but you know this is the basic look that i usually always averagely do you know sometimes if i am feeling a little risque i do flip the edges different ways at times so now you're gonna grab your handy duty wig band or whatever you prefer bandana scarf any of the sort will work and you're just gonna lay that down you also can even grab a blow dryer and blow dry it for five five to ten minutes but i'm just gonna keep this on for 10 to 15. Alrighty, y'all, it has been 15 minutes, and these are going to be my final results for the day. This is just the basic, simple, average, you know, baby hairs that I usually do. Um, yeah, when you do take that wig band off, you are going to have a line on your forehead, so just make sure you massage that out, rub that out, whatever you do. This is how I get rid of my line, and, and within five minutes, it's pretty much gone. So these are my results for the baby hairs. This is just how I do it, quick, simple. And yeah, and then basically you can just style your hair for the rest of the day and you're pretty much good to go. So if you want to see me do any more videos on baby hairs and just style them differently, I can do that. But yeah, if you made it to the end of this video and you're a real one, like, subscribe, and yeah, continue to watch, continue to watch because we got more videos coming. Thank you. Love y'all. Uh.